just said that. Yeah, you say some of them really ain't gay. They just put on a dress and act gay. That's it. So he might be playing like he rich, but he really ain't rich. They different. That's right. But what? why do you think he, he would not want to be in the same room? I mean, if you put the real, you take two Nike tennis shoes and Air Jordans, everybody love them. They love them. They spend their last dollar on a pair of Air Jordans. You yeah. put the fake Air Jordan and the real Air Jordan on the table. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. We good. So this hundred thousand is gonna be disposable income. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I can't be like a lot of our people who get money. You know, I got mine, you get yours. No, 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 no. This money should be spread it out. Wow. Over the hoods. That's real. That's where real. Where people can touch it, they can take it, they can invest it, they can fuck it off if they want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, when you take your you fucked it out, that's on you. Yeah, I'll come back. Wow. So that's the way I plan on using mine and also to expand the business. Yeah, yeah. Because expanding the business means that, you know, now you're at 100000 now you're at 125000 now you're at 150000 now you're at 200000 I mean, you know, that's how I went from $125 selling cocaine mm -hmm. to making $3 million a day. Because every day I put it back to expand the business to make the business grow to the point to where... To the point where I was doing $3 million in one day. $3 million in a day or something else. I just don't see how you mentally would be able to keep up with that. I've heard that story. I've seen you tell that story. And I'm like, how did this... Well, you just you enjoy know? yourself. But you don't go... You don't let me... It's like now. You don't go steal. Let him steal a little bit. <laughs> let him steal a little something. <laughs> The rapper stole my name. Uh, he needed that. Yeah, he Prince. I know where to melt it in the industry if he wouldn't have stole the name. Let him have that. John Singleton needed to steal a movie. And, and John Polly, because I really feel like John really liked me. He looked up to me. At least y'all went out and talked about it. Well, I, I, you know what I figured happened? John took the, the show to FX. And he said, I got the real Rick Ross. We want to do his movie. And FX said, oh, we don't want to deal with that gangster. <laughs> we don't want to deal with the real one. Let's let him sell drugs. <laughs> we like these guys who just said it. Said it you know? oh, we never did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you and you and Rick Ross. No. You've never seen him. Have y'all ever talked? We talked several times. Have y'all ever face to face? Not face to face. No, he don't want to talk. He never wanted to be in the same room with you. No. And I, and I. You know, with all that money. That's what that's the trip. If he if it's really his money, it might if it's really his money. Might be a prop. Lefty. We didn't say like a dog with that. It think? might be like a guy playing gay. What he <laughs> really ain't gay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think? And you just said that. Yeah, yeah. you say some of them really ain't gay. They just put on a dress and act gay. That's it. So he might be playing like he rich, but he really ain't rich. They different, that's right. But what, why do you think he, he would not want to be in the same room with you? I mean, if you put the real, you take two Nike tennis shoes, Air Jordans, everybody love them. They love them. They spend their last dollar on a pair of Air Jordans. Yeah. You put the fake Air Jordan and the real Air Jordan on the table. And which one get the value? Yeah, that, 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 that one that's fake going to be. They yeah. Gonna, no, that, the kids don't want the fake. So you probably never be in the room with it. Y'all never, never do business. Y'all would never. We can never do business. Could never do business. But what's going to probably happen is it's going to get, as I get so big, people are going to start saying, man, you a fake. <laughs> you got to go down in history as the fake Rick Ross. You know that's going to be his model. Is when history is written, because you know we're writing history right now. Yeah, we yeah. making it, we making history. Making history. Right now. So when they go down in history, He's go down in history as the fake Rick Ross, the guy who stole the real Rick Ross's. Wow. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, yeah, because you are freeway Ricky Ross, who pretty much, the only way he could change that is change his name and build it all over again. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way he don't go down in history as the fake Rick Ross. When the history books is written, and the history books are definitely going to be written. Yeah. He's going to go down in history as the fake Rick Ross, the guy who stole the real Rick Ross's name. Wow. Wow. And he and and then all the other stuff that he came into contact with the CEO. Well, no, that don't even matter. That's going to be overshadowed yeah, because of y'all's success. Exactly. 
You, you're exactly right. I didn't even think about that. Nobody cares about the other part. They're just looking at the success. Yeah, when they start reading the history books and, and going through the books and, and, and the future kids, it's going to be like, well, oh, he tricked a whole lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> man, Rick Ross, man, God, dog, man. Because when I first heard, like I said, I didn't even think about it. But when you came home, it became very prevalent of what had happened. You know, people started recognizing, like, dang, man, freeway out. You know, freeway out. What's gonna happen? People, <laughs> what's gonna happen when this thirty thousand, a thirty million dollar movie hit the hit the screen and advertisement is all over? <laughs> and 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 now everybody also gonna call me. <laughs> you know, she she gonna find it. I need to talk to. She him. gonna find it. Say, I need to talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Like if the way the bigger it gets, I'm gonna tell her how much money you got. <laughs> Man, you didn't want to talk to me when I didn't have nothing. That's it. I'm that's it. Like Mike Jones. <laughs> shout out Mike Jones, man. Huh? Man, shout out. Thank you so much. You didn't man. like me now, y'all. How you hanging out with me, man? So just, again, man, I want to go back into the dispensaries a little bit. Give me uh, more, just give me a little bit more in detail, like for guys who don't understand how they're able to get into the business. I, I, can, I, can, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. What we did is is we started a trend out here in California called social equity. Okay. Now, social equity, as you know, we never got our 40 acres in the mule. Never. <laughs> oh, no, sure. it was, and stop I asking. Like, but I don't took that acre. Stop asking. But I don't think you give it to me. And none of them want no building to no show up. So they came up with the idea <laughs> is why not give something back for slavery? Wow. So, you know, you can't go in there. If Supreme Court said you can't use black as a a reason to discriminate no more. What? You know, you can't get in college, get special treatment in college because you're black. None of that. That's over with. They shut that down. Yeah. I think it was affirmative action or okay. something like that. Yeah. So what we did is we came up with the idea. What about people who were targeted by the war on drugs? Ugh. Because you know the war on drugs was targeted on black and Hispanic people. Uh, no, facts. No, that's big facts. Facts. That you, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Yeah. So what we said, since they illegally targeted these communities, why not allow these communities to benefit now from a drug that you used to target them for that is now legal? Wow. So if you are a convicted felon, and and most states, beside child molestation and armed robbery, you good. Yeah, them two they they don't want them two in there, and I don't blame them. No, I get it. I, I get it. I don't like them two either. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but that that then you guys had your head on the, to to even go that far to keep going pushing. Yeah. And when did you guys start the venture? Because you got to think about it. You've been home now. How long have you been home? I've been home fourteen years. Fourteen years. It went by fast. It went by fast. What? What when did you guys start the venture to get that to to make that happen? We started I I didn't start it. I heard about it all and the I joined. Yeah, they had already started a movement and when I heard about it, I just joined in with them. Wow. You know, with the movement. How long was you on that movement with them? Five years ago. Five started. years ago. Five years ago, yes. That's, that's a lot of time, man. Yeah. To, to see it through. I wonder how long did it take them to, when they started? How long did it right around the same time. Same time? When they start they started maybe weeks or months before I heard about it. Wow. Because I was with the little clicking, you know, going to City Hall, trying to get it all figured out and, and making sure that I could get a license. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, was like, I'm on this. I, I, yeah. I'm really into yeah. this. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.